the idea of sustainable consumption reduction really helps us operationalize and understand how we can achieve sustainable development in breaking it down into what we can do to uh, improve the production efficiency of products but also what we can do to change our demand for products, our consumption of them. Um, and the importance of sustainable consumption production is understanding uh, the whole supply chain so that products are produced for us to consume um, and uh, we have a choice and we have a choice whether we buy products which are highly carbon intensive or ones which uh, potentially have a lower impact uh, on the environment or lower carbon output. And so it gives us a, a model to be able to adjust and understand a whole range of options um, to achieve the, the deep uh, and radical cuts which we need uh, to achieve a, a stable climate in the future. We analyse the supply chain through using a range of modelling techniques but is mainly or heavily reliant on economic modelling which understands how industry interacts uh, and exchanges products uh, within industry and then how these are delivered to the consumer. So this involves us having a detailed understanding of virtually every single country's production structure, the way that they uh, interchange their products and materials, and then also having a detailed understanding of where they export these products to and who imports them. Uh, clearly everything that we consume in Sweden or in the UK, let's say, is not produced in the country where we live. And so we need a detailed understanding of these trade flows and the associated impacts that they have. Mm. The trends that we're seeing is that the industrialised countries uh, are actually becoming less industrialised in that they are producing less products. Um, we find that we are producing or shift, make, shifting towards a service-based economy uh, and everything, the, all the products which we consume are produced abroad and imported. Now where this is extremely important is, uh, for example, with climate change negotiations. At the moment, the country which produces the product is held responsible for those emissions, uh, albeit that they are consumed uh, in a country with greater wealth and also greater opportunities to actually reduce emissions. Um, so we start to see China being held responsible for European consumption. I think that policymakers need to take responsibility and be more transparent about the decisions that they are making. Um, we found the, the response in the UK to uh, our research on the flows of carbon and uh, what they were responsible for abroad actually led to a defensive uh, response, one which saying, well, we're not responsible for these emissions. But ultimately, we need them to recognise the fact that we might actually have an impact on the rest of the world, uh, that at some point we may have to actually help um, in abatement uh, and in new technologies to the new emerging nations, and we may actually need to support them. Uh, we've built our economies for the last hundred years on when carbon was free. We're now asking new uh, emerging economies to build their economy uh, on uh, carbon at a price.